Hey, what's going on? This is Billy Newman, and you're listening to the Billy Newman Photo Podcast for uh, the last day of July 2017. I am doing a mobile recording, and I'm just kind of running over a couple of the notes of some stuff that's going on. I've been trying to figure out what I'm actually up to today and what <laughs> what I should run over, but uh, I think what I'm going to be putting up is some video. I wanted to talk about this for a second, but some video that I've been uh, been kind of sitting on for a long time. And, you know, that's sort of what it's been a- ending up as uh, with a lot of the stuff that I record over time. Uh, I end up putting all the videos just in a folder for myself, and I really don't end up sharing those that often. I put up a lot of the photographs, you know, which is what I like to put up, but a lot of the, the video clips of, of travel or, you know, vacations and stuff I just don't really do. And for a while I noticed this was video which I'm trying to get out of the habit of, but for a while I noticed that with video, I just really wouldn't shoot it. Um, like I would shoot film photos and stuff because I was trying to kind of unitask on that. I was kind of, I was trying to uh, just sort of focus on that singular thing and, uh, and get better at finding and, and kind of picking out those, those cool moments that you can pick up uh, when you're sort of focused in on something. And that's something I noticed with photography a lot is that it's really hard to do multiple things at the same time. You might have noticed that before when you're trying to do multitasking stuff, but uh, what I notice is that, you know, you, I don't know, I've tried it before, like certain environments where you're shooting with two cameras or something, and you know, you have like a wide angle lens and a zoom lens, and then you kind of pull back and forth between the two camera bodies, and that can work okay, but I always end up being a little bit distracted, or there's always too much equipment to manage, there's too many gear settings to get to in too short a time. And so I always end up feeling like I miss something or like I, uh, I lose out on that intuitive part of making the photographs that, uh, that really seems to be that, that edge where, where as someone who's making something creative, you're really able to step up and, and really get to that next, uh, that next part of being professional and sort of anticipating what's happening next instead of uh, in sort of a more amateur way, just reacting to what's going on. So I kind of try and think about that a little bit, and that gets back to this idea of video and how much I shoot it and, uh, and how much I don't shoot it, because for a long time, I was just working with that film camera. Like, I was thinking back to this, uh, this trip that we did to Hawaii a couple years ago. All right, what was that? It seems like it's slipping by so fast, but, you know, like, time and the months, they just keep moving on. Um, but we shot, like, a bunch of video, and we shot a bunch of photos while we were there traveling on our vacation, but I never really published anything. Uh, in terms of video because I was so focused on trying to do the photographs, trying to just work with that film camera for a long time. And so I was thinking about that more and more and I uh, was going through a lot of those videos that I have on the hard drive and uh, I was kind of poking through and I was thinking, man, you know, I should really put this stuff up. And I've been trying to do that more and more. I've been trying to go back and find a lot of those video pieces that I have uh, to see if I can put together something. Like I did a little bit with the Alvord, I did a little bit with some other things too. Uh, but if I find a clip that's sort of fun to put up, if it was, uh, if it was worth being a Snapchat at one time, then, uh, then it's good enough to go up on like a YouTube page in some capacity. But I'm trying to figure out a way to put together more content, more stuff, more videos, more pieces of, uh, of history in, in the past uh, so that I can put up on YouTube, so that I can make sure that they're there, so that I have sort of a finished, finalized product uh, of, of the video stuff that I make. You know, that's one thing I've noticed too, even with like the photographs, right? Like uh, I can take a lot of photographs, but that doesn't really feel like something finished. Or it doesn't feel like a conclusion to me. Um, you know, I was just thinking about this now. I've got like a couple rolls of film that I'm gonna go pick up today. And to the same point, it doesn't really feel like there's a conclusion with those photographs. I've not really seen the photographs. I've just taken the photographs or with the video. I just recorded the video. I've not produced it. I've not put it anywhere. No one's really seen it as an expression fully yet. And so that's always part of the, the like shoot it, work on it, and then post it somewhere part of it that, I, that I'm doing a lot of and kind of constantly do, but, uh, but that I'm still doing more. And so I'm trying to go through and find some of these videos. I have a couple, and it's pretty cool. We have this underwater camera, not a GoPro, but like a point and shoot uh, camera that also shot video. And so we did like a bunch of HD video when we were uh, swimming around in the water off the coast in Maui, and that was a uh, that was an enjoyable time for sure. But there's some cool video clips from that as the uh, the waves are coming through, and as the light in the evening was really nice. And so I'm going to try and go through and cut that and put up a couple clips from that part of the trip, which would be kind of fun to do. I've got a couple photos that I need to figure out what to do with. I got a couple little podcasts that I want to put up. Man, that's another thing I've been trying to figure out is um, 
Well, I don't know, about a month, a month and a half ago or so, I was trying to sort out some of what I was going to do with the podcast feed, and I think I'm going to pull, pull the trigger on that and put up a bunch of the podcasts uh, that I'd recorded in the past, like for the Night Sky podcast and for the Get Out There podcast. Uh, and I'm going to try and put those all up on the Billy Newman photo feed, and I think I'm going to deprecate or get rid of or stop dealing with those other RSS feeds and those other podcast feeds uh, just because they're not really active or going anywhere. So I don't know. I think it's kind of a good thing to sort of do some fresh stuff and move some things around. I'm getting rid of the nightsky.io domain name. Oh, that was my favorite domain name too. It sounded so cool and uh, sounded like a cool app or I don't know. It sounded like of its time. Uh, It sounded like a 2014, 15, 2016 domain name. Uh, But the Indian Ocean domain name section is too expensive for Billy Newman to keep uh, keep affording year over year. I think it's like 50, 60 bucks a year to get that to get that address. The uh, the IO domain names for Indian Ocean costs way more than it should and way more than I really want to pay. So um, so it was a really cool project doing the night sky stuff. And I want to keep doing a lot of astronomy based podcasting and uh, astronomy based uh, kind of science communication stuff, but that might shift over to a couple different avenues uh, and some things that will make it so that I don't have to pay 50 bucks a year to uh, just to have just to have the domain name. So I don't know. We could still have the podcast thing, and I guess was it ever enough traction from uh, an audience to really keep it to keep it uh, in uh, the in circulation? I guess so. It's cool. I'm glad to get rid of it. It's out of here. I'm uh, kind of leaning up on a lot of that stuff. Any anything like that that I can kind of cut down on or cut back on and, and sort of make a little simpler for myself, that seems to be the way to go right now. So that's kind of what I'm up to. But uh, shoot, yeah, I think that's a lot of this stuff. Other than that, it's just been working away, working away at pretty ordinary stuff, doing a lot of production photography. I'm getting, I like finished up most of that for the day. So who cares? Who cares to listen about that? I got uh, some website work coming up. Oh, man, I'm backing up that WordPress site. So that'll be pretty exciting. (laughs) That's what you wanted to hear about. I'm scanning some film, some new uh, rolls of film that I had. I I sent in the Nikon F4 a couple days ago to KEH or like a week or two ago. I probably talked about that on a podcast a little while back in my experience selling stuff over to KEH. Uh, So I had that last roll of film that I had in that camera and like another one that I'd finished up too. And both of those got developed, so I got to pick up those rolls of film, and then I got to scan them. And uh, I think I went with the scan option again this time because I still have the scanner, which I'm trying to sell. I'll sell it off, and then I'll switch over to CD, something like that. Too bad, though. The CD option, the CD scanning option, it's expensive, but ultimately it's really not that high quality of a CD scan. You know, like the, the physical file that you get back. It just really isn't as high quality or as state of the art as it probably should be given the cost that you're paying. So I might look into some send out options too. That might be the way to go for me. Or I might be able to get it at a better price, better cost per frame if I want to still shoot a lot of film stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But film is gonna get more interesting, you know, it's 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 sort of pulled back into the market a little bit. Like I hear Kodak is going to be producing more film stock, which they said they were going to stop doing for a while because the market was so low. So they're, they're going to be making more. But the tough thing is the other part of the business that hasn't really caught up again is, is the development side. Like we're just sort of seeing all the supermarkets and department stores, especially in the rural areas, all of that equipment that was sort of originally purchased in the 2000s for their dark room, that's all gone, right? Like all the department stores, all the Walgreens, all the CVSs and Walmarts and Fred Meyer, all that sort of stuff where they had their uh, their one hour photo development, photo processing. That seems like it all evaporated about a year, year and a half ago or so. Like when I first got into film back in 2000, well, I don't know what, it was 2007 or something. But when I was really heavy into it, putting that book together in 2012 and 13, I could still go to any Walmart, any CVS and I could do one hour photo uh, to CD. That's how I put together that whole film book because I'd, I'd go and I'd shoot out on the road and then I'd hike over to a Walgreens that I'd find and we'd wait for an hour. You know, we'd go out to a coffee shop, we'd come back, pick up that CD and then we'd take off. Now, you know, we do that anywhere we were. We do that in, in rural eastern California and on the coast. We do it, you know, wherever. 
And that worked out pretty well to get all those CDs and, and kind of process through the film and stuff, process through those photos. And now that doesn't really seem to exist at all, at least like at all locally in my market. There's only one or two spots, and those are specialty that do, uh, that do photo development. So all they can do it a little more, but man, I don't know. As photos go on the film side, that's cool, but kind of what my point is with that is it seems like film in a way is sort of falling off to something that's more specialty or uh, it's, it's just like a higher cost per frame. You got to be more invested in it, more interested in it uh, to keep doing film stuff, which I'm interested in, but I also want to really focus on like a, a really high end video, like HD video side, more state of the art, more modern, more 2017, 2018 technology and, and thinking about media. And I think there's a lot of efficiency that I could get out of that than it would be out of uh, working with sort of an older, less efficient system of making photographs. Um, so I don't know, I think like uh, I've been sort of considering that a lot of like how much time, how much of my daily time, how much of my 